Yo, 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 bro. Bro, 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 bro. Big facts back at it, man. Yo, this NWA for Life album, bro. If you have never, if you have never heard the Niggs for Life album, Niggas for Life, you need to go get it. You need to check it out. You need to go. Well, you need to just look at it on YouTube. Uh, listen to it on YouTube. Man, this this is probably the top five greatest albums of all time, bro. My opinion, top five. Better than Biggie. Now, Biggie, uh, Biggie's first album was hot, classic, but this is better than that. This is better than a lot of albums, man. I bring up Biggie because Biggie's al first album was like up-tempo, too, and this is like up-tempo. A lot of the songs on this album is up-tempo. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know who producing these tracks, but they crazy, dog. I mean, they phenomenal. And Dre, Dre is, is badass on this album. Dre rapping his ass off, man. I forgot how prolific Dre was as a rapper. Dre and Rand really made this album phenomenal. Easy E. Had his moments. Easy E kind of like the mascot. But Dre and Ran. And, and, I, and I'm probably going to say. I heard more. From Dre than even Ran on this album man. Dre took over. All over this album. Really stands out. As a real MC on this album. You know. You can hear every word. You understand every word clearly from Dre. Dre is really an underrated rapper. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I guess Doc was writing his lyrics. I don't know who was writing Dre's lyrics. MC Ran and Doc probably was. MC Ran and DOC, I meant. But, um, like, bro, this is my this is my teenage years, man. This this shit still sound good, bro. Like I said, top five album of all time, man. Underrated niggas for life. Songs like I mean, songs like "Real Niggas Don't Die." That was the theme of the, in the nineties. Real nigga. That was everybody was calling themselves a real nigga back in the nineties. I'm real nigga. I'm a real nigga. Real niggas was getting niggas was getting real niggas tattooed on a, on their body, bro. Like real niggas was the word to be used. Real niggas was the thing. You a real nigga? Oh, that's a real nigga right now. People still use that word to this day. And a lot of that was influenced by NWA, bruh. For real. Back in the day, we really thought Dre was about that. I mean, Dre really made us feel like he was about that life, bruh. All them niggas, NWA made us feel like they was really about that life. Especially being from the South. We didn't know them niggas, we didn't know them niggas like that. We thought them niggas was real niggas, you know what I mean? They sound like real niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure they was real niggas doing what they do. You know? Um, and MC Ram, man. MC Ram don't get the credit. Somebody go interview MC Ram, bro. Like, Art of Dialogue. Call MC Ram up. Vlad, call MC Ram up, man. This nigga, this dude don't get the credit he deserved. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? He went his way. He never blew up. I remember them MC Ram CDs in the record stores. I remember them, them MC Ram videos. That never t really took off. I remember them MC Ran songs, them singles that was coming out. That never he, he the problem with MC Ran, he never got a hit. He had he had a record label backing him. He had videos on on BET. I remember that back in the nineties, but he never just had a breakout hit. You know what I'm saying? It was a time when he should have just had a breakout hit. Like Q was popping. Uh, the Chronic was popping. And MC Ran was MC Ran was there during that time, but MC Ran never had a breakout hit, bro. When you had Cube coming with hot albums, killing the game, you had Dre killing the game, discovering Snoop, Death Row, you had Easy E even killing the game with what he did. Well, he killed, he, you know that that album he did by himself was all right, but he had a hot single. With the uh, where he would diss and Dre with uh, with those two guys, 
he had that one house. Then he had oh, and Easy E also had Bone Thugs, which which blew up, which kept Easy relevant. But Rand, poor Rand, didn't have anything. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't he couldn't get a hot song. He couldn't get a, make get a hot single. And he was the only one of, of the NWA that didn't really blow up after after the group breakup. But MC Rand is phenomenal on his album. MC Ren is phenomenal from phenomenal on all NWA albums, but this is the greatest NWA album, Niggas for Life. This might be the best NWA album. You know what I'm saying? Even without Ice Cube. You know. And I wanted this Sir Jinx produce on this album because a lot of the up tempo style type beats is what Ice Cube was using too on America's Most Wanted. And uh, his later albums. Um, Ice Cube was using these type of up-tempo up type beats. But with the samples and all that. But uh, this album might, might be better than The Chronic. You know what I'm saying? It might be better than Doggy. Well, it might be neck and neck with Doggy Style. But it might be better than The Chronic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's that good. Like I said, top five, bro. Like I said, real niggas was the theme back when I was growing up in the 90s. And songs like Real Niggas Don't Die. Real niggas don't die. I just want to celebrate. Man, niggas for life is playing to see. You can't change me because I'm going to be a nigga for life. Man, come on. It's playing to see. You can't change me because I'm going to be a nigga for life. Man. Appetite for Destruction. You got this, 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 this album had everything and it was funny. With songs like Don't with Interludes like Don't Drink That Wine. Uh songs like um Automobile and We'll Both Ride Home in my automobile. <laughs> songs funny. I mean, a straight classy, bro. Every song on here is slamming, y'all. Every song on here is a ten, bro. She swallowed it, and this and this album influenced Tupac too, y'all. I, I I can tell Tupac took a lot from this album. Like when Tupac say, "Real niggas don't die." I mean, what he say on, on one on one of his songs on All Eyes on Me, he said something like, "Real niggas don't die." He got that from N.W.A., y'all. He got that from this album. Tupac got a lot from this album. It don't matter. Just don't bite it. Tupac got that from this album. You know, it's a lyric. Tupac said, it don't matter. Just don't bite it. He got that from this album. You know, N.W.A. really influenced Tupac. Majorly. Ice Cube influenced Tupac. Dr. Dre influenced Tupac. Tupac uses a lot of Dr. Dre samples on, on you know, in his music. On Me Against the World, he's a... Tonight, tonight, I get in some shit. If I die tonight, that was a Dr. Dre sample Tupac used. So, uh, another, uh, this, another song stands out. I'd rather fuck with you. I'd rather fuck you. Yeah, with Jewel singing. Man, come on, bro. Classic. They used Jewel all in this album also. Um, when she was talking about. Oh yeah, they got a song this and Ice Cube on this album too. What's it called? One let is it no it ain't it ain't one list. It's a message to Benedict Arnold. Is it is it real niggas? It might be real niggas. They diss an ice cube. They respond back to Ice Cube, but Ice Cube won that battle with no Vaseline. But they did they did a good job with responding back, but they couldn't mess with Ice Cube. Easy E response was kind of weak. Uh, on the on the response back, but that don't that don't mean his album wasn't classic, straight classic. Uh, hey yo, Dre, I was speaking to your bitch O'Shea as we roll on, need to roll on, creep. You got the. <laughs> One, two, three, then another nigga. 
When I look back, it was ran on the motherfucking trick. <laughs> a nigga's always into something. Man, come on, man. Classic ass album, bro. I this is a fun list. This album is fun listening to. It just takes me back. You know, it don't sound dated at all. It sounds even more better. It sounds just as beautiful as it did when I was a teen listening to it. It still sounds great, bro. And like Dre, man. You know what I'm saying? Dre, I, I, Dre is a, I think Dre is kind of an idiot. Because why they never did an NWA reunion, bro, with Ice Cube, Rand, and Dre? You know what I'm saying? They could have been. They could have been did another album. But Dre, as he got older, older, he just became. Uh, he just he stopped making beats during the Death Row era. He he just something wrong with that dude, man. Like something really wrong with Dre, bro. I'm glad he wasn't like that. Went back in his early days. But Dre, Dre got it. Dre got mental issues. There's something wrong with him. He got mental problems. He can't put out an album. Something wrong with that guy. But, um, uh, because, you know, when him and Ice Cube did Natural Born Killers, that, that was phenomenal, bruh. And, you know, he should have did more songs with Ice Cube. And brought Rand on, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, excuse me. Yeah. He should have did more songs, more songs with Ice Cube after they dropped that uh, Natural Born Killers, cause that that Natural Born Killers is a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But that's Dre for you, man. Dre just killed a lot of a lot of classics that could have been. But I'm glad uh, that we have what we have with uh, with this album, bro. Every song is a 10, bro. Like, just check it out, man. And I know a lot of y'all already already know what I'm talking about. Real Niggas for Life. Top 5 greatest albums, greatest hip-hop albums of all time. And I'll put it over The Chronic. I think it's better than The Chronic. And I'll put it, and I'll, and I'll put it on the same level as a doggy style. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how confident I am with this album, bro. And Dr. Dre is killing it on this album. Like I don't know what happened to him. No, I don't know what happened to Dre. But the dude was flowing his ass off on this album, bro. He was going he was flowing his ass off. This the Dre I miss. I miss this Dr. Dre, bro. This the real Dr. Dre. That Dr. Dre we got now, now that's a clone. This the real Dr. Dre right here. That's it for me, man. Peace.